Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. Today we will continue with rectifier. Okay, so what is a rectifier? Do you have any ideas? Okay, actually a rectifier is an electrical device that convert from alternating current here or AC which periodically reverse direction to DC or direct current which flows in one direction only. Okay, so the process of this is called as a rectification and it is used to straighten the direction of the current. Okay, and the reverse operation can be performed using an inverter. But today, we will discuss about rectifier only. Okay, a rectifier can be divided into two types. Okay, so here we have uncontrolled rectifier and also control rectifier. Okay, so how can we perform this rectifier? What should we use? Okay, so if you are still remember in chapter 1, we already discussed about uncontrolled device and also a control device. Okay, so for the uncontrolled rectifier, it can be performed by using a diode while for the control rectifier, it can be performed using thyristor or SCR. Okay, and for uncontrolled and control rectifier, it can be further divided into half wave and full wave. Okay, and for this class, we will analyze this half wave and full wave rectifier with R load RL load and also for RC load. Okay. Okay. To examine or to analyze the uncontrolled halfway rectifier, it can be performed by using this circuit. Okay. So here we have one diode. Okay. As a switch, and then we have a resistor as a load and also an AC source. Okay. So during the first half cycle or during the positive half cycle, so what will happen to the diode here? Okay, so during the positive half cycle, here during the positive half cycle, the diode will be short circuit. Okay, so when diode is short circuit, here current can flow. Okay, current can flow. So using KVL, we know that Minus V in plus V out equal to zero. Okay, so that V in equal to V out. Am I right? Okay, so that's why here the output voltage will be like this where it is equal to V in. So that is for the first half cycle. Okay, now let's analyze what happened to this circuit during the negative half cycle. Okay, so this is during the negative half cycle of the input voltage. So what will happen to this diode? Okay, the diode will be open circuit. So diode will be open circuit. So there will be no current flow here. Okay, and then what is the upper voltage here? Okay, so we know that V out is also given by IR, right? So as there is no I or I is 0, so we will get V out as 0 volt. Okay, so that's why here we get the output voltage of the uncontrolled half wave rectifier during the negative half cycle is 0, right? So this is the output voltage for the uncontrolled half-wave rectifier with R load for two cycles where V out equals to V in for the positive half cycle while for the negative half cycle V out equals to 0 volt. Okay, and for the DC output voltage VDC or V out or V average it is actually given by Vm over pi or 0 0.318 Vm okay and for the DC output current DC output current we know that I naught equals to V naught over R okay but then, since we know that V0 equals to Vm over pi, 
So just substitute this, we will get I0 equals to Vm over pi R. Okay, and for the V0 RMS, it is given by Vm over 2. So why 2 here? Because it is half wave rectified. Okay, so once we got the answer for V0 RMS, we can calculate the average power absorbed by the resistor or by the load where it is given by P equals to I RMS square times R or V0 RMS square over R. So this is the, the equation for the uncontrolled half-wave rectifier with our load. Now let's consider this example. So here we have an uncontrolled half-wave rectifier circuit with a resistive load of 32 ohms and an AC voltage source of 240 volt. The question asks to calculate for the average value of the voltage and current. But first, we need to convert this VRMS into VM first. So how to do this? Alright, so VM sorry VM equals to VRMS multiply with set 2. So we have 240 so our VM will be 339.41 volt. And then when we get Vm, we can calculate for the average value of voltage and current. So V out or V average equals to Vm over pi. So just substitute this, this value 339.41 over pi, you will get 180. 0 to volt. Okay. Next, for the I out, it is given by V out over R. So, we will get I out 4.91 amps. Okay, next for the RMS value of voltage and current. So, VRMS is given by Vm over 2. Okay, so again, we need to use this value. So, 339.41 over 2. We will get 169 so I RMS V RMS over R we get 7.71 M's alright so finally how can we calculate the, the power the average power delivered to the load ok so P we know that P equals to I square RMS times R, right? So just square this value with 22 we will get 1309.08 watts So this is the average power delivered to the load. But uh, what if, if the question asks to calculate the power factor? So we know that power factor is given by PF is given by P over S. We already get the P here and S. S is given by VS RMS times I RMS. So VS RMS is 240 times I RMS 7.70 amps. So it is equal to 
1850.4 really because this is the apparent power S ok now just substitute the value for P and S so P is 1309.08 over 1850.4 BA so Zero point seven zero seven. Okay, so this is uh, the answer for the power factor. If only the question asks you to calculate for the power factor. Alright, so with that, I thank you. Bye bye.